Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Hello, fabulous superstar cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November, 2021. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month. We've got a super new moon. We've got a lunar eclipse, a full moon eclipse, and we have Venus going into shadow. So there's so much to talk about here. It is going to be a very important month in matters of love and heart for you. But I'll talk about the love portion of this video in just a little bit. First, let's talk about the new moon. That new moon that happens on the fourth of the month. Well, it is taking place in a heart-oriented part of the sky for you. This has to do with happiness and fulfillment. Creative fulfillment is covered here. Children you have and children that you want are covered here as well. Now, this new moon... It's going to be standing across the sky from Uranus. And what that suggests is surprise, a sense of change that feels like it comes out of nowhere, that does surprise you, that can delight you, but really could go in either direction. First and foremost, I would say your fertility may surprise you at this time. So there are ways to direct this energy, of course, but you may want to be aware of that. Uh, the other thing that may surprise you at this time is the children in your life. Whether it is their choices or their behaviors, that can take place now. Um, but of course, creative endeavors as well. Now, where it is that you use your creativity to your advantage, it could be that it reaps unexpected results or attention, or it could find a way to reach a whole lot of people very quickly. Such is the power of this new moon. Whatever it is that you may create or present at this time, it seems to have a life of its own and can be part of opening up more and more opportunities for you for a long time to come. As we navigate later in the month, that's when we have the lunar eclipse. We will start eclipse season. And that lunar eclipse happens on the 19th and it happens in a friendship-oriented part of the sky for you. Now get comfortable because it is going to be in 2022 and in 2023 that you are also going to have eclipses here. And of course, I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. But this is the first <laughs> in a while. Uh, you haven't had an eclipse here in a few years. And so this lunar eclipse, a full moon lunar eclipse, suggests seeing certain alliances differently, but also feeling as if things are changing in a way that serves you well. Getting to some truth that ultimately serves to transform. And for some, this may be moving in a different direction where it comes to friendships as well. And so here we have this lunar full moon eclipse speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto adding intensity, adding power, adding focus. This part of the sky not only has to do with friendships, but it also has to do with bigger opportunities, opportunities that align with the hopes and wishes you have for your life. And also there's this connection here to visibility, uh, being able to reach the masses, if you will. Also possible here, you may find yourself sharing something and having it reach a lot of people, whether on social media or otherwise. Um, now, I would add with this, a friend may facilitate that in a positive sense for you. And it can be at this time that you are finding yourself getting more honest or transforming certain alliances. Uh, they may become more professional in some way, but regardless of what happens, you certainly feel like your circle is widening. And this can also be a social time. In fact, if it is that you are doing social things right about now, well, chances are not only will it be fun, but there will be a transformative power to the fun that is had now. I wouldn't be surprised if during a social event, you may connect with somebody and it ends up facilitating a spontaneous power move of some kind that you truly are able to hit out of the park. Now, where it comes to matters of love, 
two big things I want to talk about. So one is the new moon and we are mainly going to focus on that new moon I spoke of earlier in the context of love because it is a heart oriented part of the sky. But I do want to mention that it is going to be on the fifth of the month that Venus will enter your opposite sign. And normally Venus spends about four weeks per sign per year. But this year, and into next year, it's a little different because Venus is going to be in your opposite sign right into March of 2022. And that means retrograde. The Venus retrograde is around the corner. In fact, on the 17th of November, Venus will enter shadow. Now, there is going to be a Venus retrograde special horoscope, so be on the lookout for that. There's a lot to say about this, but I wanted to mention this now because... Whatever transpires in the context of love right around the 17th, you will revisit it or see it differently in some way once you navigate to the end of January and into February as well. Events now may seem a certain way. However, whether it's more information or a different perspective or a new understanding, all of that is promised once we navigate further into the new year when Venus returns to where she is going to be on the 17th of November. So where it comes to matters of love, pay attention. This is Venus retrograde in your opposite sign. It is going to be massive for you in the context of love. But certainly, at least in the immediacy and at least when the month is starting, it's really about the new moon because that new moon highlights matters of heart, including love. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, there may be a very surprising, very shocking flirtation that does happen for you in the first days of this month. And if it does, roll with it. I think it may be uh, an epiphany moment for you of some kind, letting you know that you absolutely have options available to you in the context of love. Do pay attention to what's happening for you right around the 17th of the month because whatever is taking place, you will find a way uh, to connect it to events once we get into the new year. Uh, whether it is whispers from the past, whether it is uh, returning to what you thought you wanted, in some way, what is happening in the middle of November is an awakening, but also a revisit and will serve as a touchstone, especially once we get into the new year and Venus goes direct. For those of you just starting to date somebody, boy, is that new moon a moment of truth. It is a moment of insight. And I think of this type of Uranian energy as ripping off a Band-Aid. And so you see the truth about this person and either you're all in or you're really not. Either you're feeling very close and bonded to this person and things accelerate in terms of dating, or you realize that you're ready to go in a whole other direction, either based on something you see in them or somebody new who presents themselves to you. Again, pay attention to what's happening right around the 17th of the month. You will understand it differently. Once we navigate into the new year, remember it's on the 19th of December that Venus goes retrograde, officially retrograde, but when she retrogrades, she will return to, as part of her pathway traveling backwards in the sky, she will return to where she is this month, mid-month. And for those of you in an established bond, well, look, that energy of the new moon may speak to your established bond. There's a desire for romance. There may be a romantic surprise. It looks like it could go in all kinds of directions. I wouldn't plan a romantic surprise with a sky like this. But for all that, we are going to have Venus enter your opposite sign early in the month. And that tends to be really nice when you are in an established bond because it helps you to feel that much more bonded to your partner. It helps you to feel that they are that much sweeter and kinder. So you can tap into that energy, certainly knowing that and keeping an eye out for what does arise right around the 17th because yes, you will revisit it in some way once we navigate into the new year. What I love about this month for you, there is so much here. What a powerful time it is. I absolutely do love that lunar eclipse energy. Now, lunar eclipses, you got to stay open. That's the thing. It's a good idea not to actively work with eclipse energy just because it is such a wild card energy. And yet, 
what the universe has planned for you can be way cooler than anything you plan for yourself. So yes, stay open. If invitations come to social events, absolutely accept them. But also know that there are times when karma can be kind. And in this case, you are about to realize just how connected and how loved you are by so many who truly want genuine and heartfelt connection and friendship with you now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every single week for every single sign for as low as just $3 a month. With Choose Your Membership Rate at NadiaShawSuperstars.com, as a superstar, you'll get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week. And higher tiers get you things like access to special horoscopes, class passes for future Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Link is in the description below. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.